Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you're here, my name is Tara, and on this channel I love to share delicious but easy and healthy recipes you can make right in your very own kitchens. Today, we are making the most delicious ribs. We're gonna be using our Instant Pot, so this could not get any simpler, and you guys are gonna absolutely love it. Before we get started, if you have not already, I would love for you to be a part of this community. You do that by hitting the red subscribe button that's right below this video. Next week, we are making homemade pita bread. You do not want to miss this recipe. Be sure to click the bell icon, that way you're notified each time I post a new video. If you guys are ready to make some incredibly delicious ribs, smash that like button and let's jump right into the video. This is such a super simple recipe. So I've rinsed my ribs and I'm drying them off. I'm using baby back ribs here. You could also use spare ribs. And now we are going to apply a dry rub. All of the ingredients and measurements will be in the description box below. I'm drinking some homemade kombucha, super delicious. So I'm gonna just apply these spices to the ribs and then I'm gonna rub them in really good with my hands. If you don't wanna do it this way, of course you could put gloves on and use gloves, but I don't mind getting my hands dirty. You wanna make sure you get both sides of the ribs. This is the flavor that's gonna be infused in the ribs as they cook. I'm placing a trivet inside of my Instant Pot, adding some water, and then I'm grabbing my ribs. And I'm gonna place them in kind of on their side, leaning against the side of the pot. If you have more ribs than what I'm using here, simply continue the spiral placement of the ribs and fit as many as you can inside of there and they will be delicious. Then we're gonna close our lid, make sure the silicone ring is on, set it to sealing at high pressure for 27 minutes. We're gonna allow at least 15 minutes of natural pressure. Then we're gonna perform a quick release. When the pin drops, we're gonna open it up and remove our perfectly cooked ribs. I'm gonna be using two different sauces for my ribs. You do not have to use two different sauces. I'm using a store-bought sauce that's a favorite, and I wanna show you how to make a super delicious glaze that is very reminiscent of what you would get in a takeout restaurant. I have preheated my broiler, so we're good to go with that. So let's make this delicious glaze. In a small bowl, we're gonna add some coconut sugar, hoisin sauce, soy sauce, dry sherry. If you don't have dry sherry, you could also use Chinese cooking wine. Honey. I've melted this honey to make it easier to pour. Ginger, I'm gonna grate this straight into the bowl with my microplane. Give this a quick stir, and then I'm gonna add in some roasted garlic. I love roasted garlic. If you don't have any roasted garlic, you could also use about a couple of regular cloves just crushed inside. I love to glaze my ribs several times throughout the broiling process. I feel like it produces the absolute best texture and flavor. I love the crispy outside that you'll get by doing it this way. However, if you wanna just simply broil it one time, you can, but if you have a couple of extra minutes, I highly recommend using this technique. So this slab of ribs, I'm gonna apply the glaze we just made. And then to the other slab, I'm gonna use Sweet Baby Ray's Sweet and Spicy Barbecue Sauce. I love this barbecue sauce. Use any kind that you like. Then we're gonna place it inside of our broiler for five minutes. We're gonna remove it. We're gonna flip the ribs over and apply the glaze to the other side. And then for good measure, I like to flip them back and apply a little bit more glaze to the top. Since of course this is the side where the meat is, that's the side we really want to char. Place it back inside the broiler for two minutes. And when we pull them out, look at these ribs. So incredibly sticky, delicious, perfectly cooked, delicious flavor. You guys are going to absolutely 
love this recipe. For a delicious dinner, I'm pairing it with a baked potato, some corn on the cob, and some homemade bread. I hope you enjoyed today's video and that you have a chance to try it. I'm gonna leave a playlist of more delicious recipes on the screen here for you if you wanna check that out. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.